What's up guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing why you can't start exercising. Right? You may have tried to start exercising and then it just wasn't working out for you. And then you're like, oh man, like I just can't exercise, or I just can't do it, it's just not for me. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing why you think it's not for you. Keyword, think. Now, most of the reason people think that exercise isn't for them is because they start wrong. Now people start like going balls to the wall, going hard as shit. Like, trying to do a full seven-day-a-week program when your body isn't acclimated to that. Not even only working out. This is applicable to everything in life. But when I first started trying to work out, I was going way too hard, and my body wasn't ready for that. Same with self-improvement. I was going way too hard, and my discipline or my mind, it just wasn't there at the level that I was trying to go at. So then I wasn't making as much progress as I could have been making if I just started off lightly, which is how you should start. You should start off lightly, lightly and something that you can do consistent, whether it's like a couple push-ups, a, a couple squats, like just a light routine that you can do three to four times a week, preferably all body, full body, because you can work your full body at once. And just something light, like maybe like you never worked out. So you're going to do 10 push-ups, 10 squats, and five pull-ups for your first exercise. And then you're going to repeat that three to four times throughout the week. I mean, hey. That's better than where you were before when you weren't doing anything. So you want to make sure that you start lightly because a lot of people make the mistake of trying to start too intensely and then they end up just not sticking to it because they weren't acclimated to doing that amount of intensity or they didn't have the discipline to keep on that strict of a schedule and they didn't build up the habit. The reason why it works is because you're trying to build up the habit. You're looking to develop the scale of keep going even if you don't want to go because when you do go it's like oh it's pretty late like it wasn't that bad it was kind of easy so you want to it should be easy at first when you st when you start something it should be easy you want you don't want to drain yourself and then that comes later when you already built up the habit and uh, the mindset that's really important like you want the working out mindset you want to be able to think like oh yeah i'm gonna work out today because i want to like when you start too heavy, you're not gonna want to because you're gonna destroy your body and you're not gonna see any gains. And the whole reason why people end up wanting to go is because they see progress and you're not gonna see progress when you first start. So this plan isn't for progress or anything. This plan isn't for anything crazy. It's to build up the habit so you can see progress. And when you build up the habit first, you're more likely to see more progress than a person who started off heavy as hell, saw a little bit of progress, and they're like, man, I can't keep this up. Because they built that unrealistic expectation that they're going to be able to go balls to the walls every day. When that's just not how it is, you want to build up the habit of working out. Build up the habit of constantly coming back to the gym, to, to your workout equipment, not even the gym, to your living room where you work out, wherever you work out. Just want to build it, the habit of constantly exercising. And then once you build up that habit, you can move on to bigger and better things. And then, you know, start to see real gains. It's all about building the habit and seeing results over time. People have this need to see instant results. They want things so quickly, but that's not how life works. Anything hard and anything wanted, like anything that's admirable, it takes time to actually build up and reach that. Like the best violinist, nigga, you think they started practicing hard as hell no they started practicing when they were like three probably just like basic songs and then they built that shit up constantly and constantly like anything achievable it does take hard work it's not going to be quick it's not going to be quick and people have that idea that oh i'm gonna go to the gym and like 30 day challenge 30 day challenge and like yeah 30 day challenges are good to get you into it but if you're only doing the 30 day challenge and then you expect to just maintain what you got from the 30 day you're not going to get shit in 30 days realistically like you're gonna see some progress, and if you never made progress, that progress is gonna seem like a lot, but over time is when the most progress comes, when you're consistent with things, and you're consistently doing it. And that's why I'm preaching to start like late, because when you start off late, you build up the habit, and then you're gonna be doing it consistently because you're not just working out to see quick progress. That's a part of your working out, but you're in it to see for the long-term, to get those long-term gains. And yeah, that's the way that it should be. I also have a couple like easy light workouts that I think you could do three to four times a week on my channel if you wanna go check those out. Uh, one which is like my injury routine, but I'm kind of off that. And then one which is like more 
of a beginner outro, like three to four times a week when you first start off routine. And then I'm gonna be making a whole series on like, like how to build the body that you want, how to build an attractive, like good physique, doing fun workouts that you can do at home, at the gym, wherever. Mainly calisthenics space, but there's some isolation work in there. And you know, I'll switch, I'll give little substitutes in that. But I'm not gonna reveal too much in this video, but I'm just giving you all the basis on how to start. And I already have routines on my channel that will be good for you if you're just starting. So yeah, that's all there really is to this video. You know, you wanna start light, and then build up, acclimate your body. Also injuries can happen if you try and go too hard, too quick. I, I've experienced that myself where I was trying to push progression and it was there, but like my, my tendons and everything weren't ready for that. So you wanna start off slow and then build up. I'm telling you, build up consistency. Long-term is the game. Like short-term, like that's cool for temporary, temporary things, but long-term is really where everything happens. I'm gonna set yourself up for the long term in the beginning so you can make those gains in the long term and then have that progress in the long term. And then if you have the long term progress, it'll be way better than anyone can accomplish in the short term. So really focus on that when you first start. And you wanna have that foresight and that vision that, oh, like right now, but this is what's best for me overall. And it may seem like I'm just like preaching bullshit, but like really think about it. Like the long term is so much more important than the short term. And your goals are all probably short term, like, oh, I just want to have the body for the beach. But like, you you want to be healthy till you're 80. That's what I'm preaching right now. I'm preaching the long term. So look out for future videos on my channel about the how to build an attractive body series. That's going to be coming soon. If you want an easy workout that you can do, I recommend my circuit routine. It's only about 15 minutes and it works your full body. You get everything, especially if you're a beginner, you're going to see pretty good gains on this routine while also being able to do it consistently. So get off YouTube, or actually don't get off YouTube, go on my channel, go play that video, watch the workout, write it down. Actually, I put it at the end. You could go see it at the end, see the workout, take a screenshot of it, and then do it. Get off YouTube and do the workout. Because what are you waiting for?